This is Revit Home View with all your recent projects. Click on New Model and choose Architectural Template. Click OK and you have New Project. Here you can see the Properties panel. And down below there's a project browser with all the views and families. You can collapse and expand the categories. When you select any object you have properties for that object. Up above you have a ribbon with all the tools and panels. It may look different depending on your screen size. You can click and drag the project panel or the properties panel and pin it to the side of the screen or combine two panels. In that way you have more screen estate and you can switch between the panels down below. Click on new wall in architecture tab and by changing location line you can choose to what layer the wall is aligned when you draw the wall. Let's say finish exterior layer. Click above to choose between different wall types that you have made or loaded in your project. Click somewhere on the model, move the mouse and click another time to finish the wall. Repeat the process and draw a rectangle for your wall. Don't worry about the dimensions, you can easily change them later. Press escape button on the keyboard to cancel the wall creation tool. When you select the wall, you have temporary dimension displayed. You can drag the witness lines to snap the closest elements and change the dimension to move the wall to the position of your liking. When you select the wall, you can change the wall type or edit type. Here you can see all the properties for the type. Press Edit Structure to add new layers to the wall. Click on Insert to add new layer. Choose the function of the layer and add thickness to the layer. Click OK and you have added layer to the wall type. Now let's create a section view. Click on Create Section. Click on the starting point and click on the end point of the section. You can also find Create Section tool under View tab. Let's create a few more sections and ultimately you can create as many sections as you like. Click on Project Browser to see your sections, expand the views, expand the sections and here are all of your sections. You can double click on them or double click on the section head to open the section view. Let's open this section. And here you can see that your model already have two levels. You can click on the level dimension to change the height of the level. Let's go back to level 0. Here are your properties for that level. Click on Project Browser and expand floor plans. And here are your plan views. Think as plan views as horizontal sections of the model. You can ultimately have as many plan views as you like. And you can duplicate the existing plan view. Rename it to the roof. Let's go to properties for that plan view. Click on edit view range. And this is the height of the section of the plan. Let's change this to 3000. OK. And here you can see that now you are cutting above the level 1 and above the wall. When you draw detail line, press DL and type 3000, you can see that now we are cutting just above the wall. Let's change that. Select Roof View, go to Properties and select Edit View Range again and change Cut Plane to 5000. And now this view cuts more above the walls. Let's create a 3D view. Click on 3D View icon on a quick access toolbar. And now you have a new 3D view of the model. Let's go back to Roof View and create new roof. Select new roof under architecture panel and now you have to draw the footprint of the roof. Select the rectangle and draw the rectangle as a footprint of the roof. Now let's select these two lines and uncheck defined roof slope so that we have roof with two slopes called gable roof. Now select this roof boundary and we can create overhang on this side by moving this line. Press MV on the keyboard and type 500. Let's select this line also, type MV on the keyboard and move 500. We can also select Move tool from the Modify panel. Select line, click on Move, type 500. Let's move this line also so we have overhang for our roof on all sides. Now click on Finish Editing Mode and here you have your finished roof. Double click on the section, select the roof and here you can change the slope for the roof or change the base level for the roof. Let's change it to level 0. Here you can see that the roof now is on the level 0. Let's change it back to level 1 and change base offset from the level to 3000. Now the roof is above the walls. Move the mouse over the wall, press tab to select all the walls, left click and select attach top or the base and select roof to attach the walls to the roof. Now select crop boundary, move that crop boundary up, move the section up and let's go back to level 0 to add doors. Select door tool from architectural tab. And you can select your door family that is loaded in your project. Now move the cursor over the wall and you can choose the orientation of the doors. 
left click to add the door to the wall when you select the doors or the walls you can see this arrow and this shows the exterior side of the wall or of the door and you can click this arrow to flip the element now let's add windows select window tool from architecture tab select window family or type and click on the walls to add windows don't worry about the positions you can change them later now select the window and click that arrow to flip the window now change the vertical position of the windows let's select window and that's called seal height change that to 900 that is the offset from the level now select one window right click select all instance invisible view and change seal height to 900 for all the windows you can select window and edit type and see all the properties for that window that you can change later now let's add floors to our model select floor tool from architectural tab draw the boundary line for the floor select rectangle and draw the floor boundary you can also draw lines and change the level at which the floor is added or change the head offset from the level let's add another floor at level one go to view for level one select the floor adding tool again and this time we'll choose pick walls instead of rectangle select that and pick walls and the boundary lines are automatically added to the walls now let's finish the floor and Revit will ask if we want to automatically cut the floor out of the wall let's say no this time go back to properties and you can see that the floor is added to level one with zero offset from the level let's go to the section and here we see that we have two floors one in level zero and one in level one now next we need to add stairs to our model select stairs from architecture go to level zero and change the base level for the stairs to level zero and top level to level one click to start the stairs and move the mouse to draw the stairs to the right side now you can click and drag the stairs in the position that you want here are the properties for the stairs now let's move them a bit up so that they are over our section line finish the stairs and double click on our section to see our stairs now we need to cut a hole in our second floor for our stairs go to level one view and now select architecture and opening vertical click on that click on our floor pick rectangle and draw our opening you can change that later finish that opening and now we have opening for our stairs now let's go back to level zero to add more walls and rooms select add wall let's pick this smaller wall for our partition draw the wall and now my favorite shortcut in revit is create similar cs on the keyboard select door and press cs on the keyboard to create similar object and add same door to this wall and now let's add rooms to this model select room add room here and here and we have two rooms these are room tags and you can see that they show 55 square meters or 500 square foot and you can change the project units under manage tab and under project units panel now let's add room to level one let's go to level one click architecture room and add the room to level one now when you press tab you can cycle between the elements and when you cycle to the room element you can see that the room is counting in the area of the stairs to change that we need to add room separators let's draw the room separators around the stairs and now when you select cycle through with tab and select the room you can see that the room area is not counting in the stairs now let's add some furniture models you can click on insert and load family from your computer on load from autodesk server click on architecture and click on add component select let's select this table and you can find all the families here in project browser under the families under the furniture category are your loaded furniture families now let's go back to the architecture tab and pick component to add this table to our model select the table and choose the location for the table select the table press space to rotate the table and now let's insert chair insert and load autodesk family pick your region and pick furniture category and let's select seating and let's select this chair let's load it into our model and now go back to architecture tab and select component now select your chair that you loaded press space to rotate the chair and click to add the chair to the model now let's talk about model lines and detail lines model lines in architecture tab are 3d lines that are added to the model you can draw those lines and they are visible in all views and in 3d model here you can see that the line is hiding below the table and you can drag that line further down 
about the detail lines. The detail lines under Annotate tab are lines that are visible only in the view that you are drawing them in. In this case, the lines that I'm drawing will be only visible in level 1 view. You can also draw regions like hatches in AutoCAD. Select region and draw the outer border of the region. You can select the family type of the region. Let's draw a rectangle here and here you can see that it's above the table and it's also a detail item and will be visible only in level 1 view. You can later edit the boundary of the region. Now we can also model components in place. Go to architecture tab and select components, model in place. These are all the categories and think of them as a layers in AutoCAD. We have furniture category or furniture systems, but let's select generic models. Press OK and let's call this furniture 1. OK, now you can draw any shape that you want. Let's make an extrusion. Draw the shape, let's say a circle. Draw the circle and here at the extrusion end and start. Finish that. Finish model. And when you select the element, you can click on selection box under modify tab. When you click on that, it opens up a 3D view with section box around the element. When you go to properties in that view, you can uncheck the section box and it shows the whole model without the section box. When you check back the section box, it shows a section box and you can drag that section box to cut the model in 3D view. Now let's go back to view of level 0 and add some annotations to the model. Let's go to annotate and choose align dimension. Press tab and select where the witness line is snapping. In our case we try to snap the dimension to the middle of the window. Select the middle of the window and now again with the tab select the exterior of the wall. Move the dimension up and click somewhere on the window to finish the dimension line. Click EQ to get equal dimensions between the windows. And now you can change equality display to value to see the real dimension between the windows. Now let's do the same for the windows below. With the tab select the exterior, click EQ. And now the same for the doors. Press EQ and now select those dimensions. And let's change the equality display to value to see the real value. Now we can also add tags to almost all elements of the model. On the annotate tab select tag by category and by pressing tab on the keyboard you can cycle between the elements and tag those elements as I'm doing here. Let's tag the windows. And these are the tags you can move them around and you can disable the leader if you want for the tags. And tags basically display some kind of information for that object. In our case, it's displaying instance mark for this window. You can select the tag and change the type of the tag, let's say to boxed. And you can also create tags that display information about this object's family. Let's select this window, edit type. And we could also create a tag that display the type mark. And it will be the same for all the windows. But that will be in the different tutorial about the tags only. For now, let's stick to these tags. And lastly, let's create some sheets to put our views on. Go to Project Browser, right click on the sheet and click on New Sheet. Here you can create a new sheet with the title block or without the title block. Let's create empty sheet. Go to View and select Title Block to add title block. Go to Project Browser and drag the views that you want to put on the sheet. Double click on the view. And down below click on show crop boundary. This is the crop boundary. You can drag the crop boundary to crop the view. Drag that boundary and click on crop view. Select crop boundary. Now go to properties and click annotation crop. And now all the annotations outside the crop boundary are hidden. Now you can add multiple views to the sheet or duplicate existing views with or without detailing and add them to the sheet. Let's duplicate the view for level 1 with the detailing. Duplicate with detailing. And here you can see that the copied view has all the detail lines and regions. Now when you duplicate it without the detailing, you can see that copy 2 has no detail lines or regions in the view. Let's look again. The copy 1 has all the detail lines and the copy 2 has no detail lines, just model lines. Let's go back to the sheet and drag level 1 onto the sheet. And here you have two views on the same sheet. 
And that's all for this video. And my main tip is to play around with all the tools and all the elements and all the properties on the Revit and make as much models as possible. And that's how I learned Revit. And I hope you learn a lot from this video. Please subscribe. Have a great day and see you in the next one.